Hoi, you're watching Bricklex and this is Lego set 75298 8080 versus Tonton Microfighters. It's a Lego Star Wars set from 2021 and comes with two minifigures and two microfighters, of course. The first minifigure in this set is Luke Skywalker and he has a really detailed outfit with prints on his legs and his torso and just white arms but that's obviously a different color than the torso this really nice helmet with a visor a stud shooter and quite an interesting minifigure head because his face is printed on this white head never saw that before actually and there's also a second face print and it looks really cool with this helmet one thing I do not really like is that you can see his second face print on the back of this helmet. So it looks a little bit unfinished. And this is, by the way, the printing on the back of his torso, also quite detailed. The second minifigure in this set is the AT-AT driver. And he has a pair of binoculars, also the same stud shooter. This really nice helmet and also a pretty detailed outfit with a print on his legs and on his torso and it's one continuous print. Of course there's also a face and it's quite generic but I think more than okay for this character because it's not one specific character from Star Wars, it's just an at, -AT driver. If we turn him around, you can see there's also some printing on the back of his torso. And this minifigure does not have a second face print, but does have the same problem as Luke, in my opinion, that you can see a little part of his head that's just a little bit ugly. The first micro fighter in this set is this Tauntaun. I don't know if I like it actually because it looks really mechanic. It's an animal with fur. This really looks like a robot or well not an animal. There are some really nice details like his tail, you have this lightsaber, and over here another pair of binoculars. The horn piece is really cool. It looks nice as a Lego build, but I don't think it really represents the Tauntaun as I remembered it from the movie. So that's a bit sad. One more thing that they could have done. Uh, these legs are not movable, so this is the only position he gets. And I think this is just a little bit of a missed opportunity. The second micro fighter is the AT-AT, and I think this one is amazing. It really looks like a small AT-AT. He has poseable and movable legs in any direction you want. His head is movable. There is a printed face or cabin. There's also a printed, well, dashboard. The details on his head are really great. The technique they used for his feet is really great. They used some dish pieces and this just looks amazing. So I think that if this was just one micro fighter, I bought this one and never bothered with the other one. Okay, conclusion, great minifigure, not a great microfighter, great minifigure, amazing microfighter. For now, thanks a lot for watching. If you like this video, please give a like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next video. Doei!